hello friends welcome to electronic circuit hub so today today we are going to understand about the mosfet power dissipation mosfet power dissipation for different different value of vgs let us say if if vgs is 4.5 volt what is the power dissipation at the mosfet if vgs is 5 volt what is the power dissipation at the mosfet let's say if vgs is 6 volt what is the power dissipation at mosfet if vgs is 8 volt what is the power dissipation of the mosfet and if the vgs is 10 volt what is the power dissipation of the mosfet so this this i will show you in LT spice i will change the value of vgs and i will show you the the power dissipation for different different values right the power dissipation of the mosfet for different different values different different values of vgs so at the end and conclude that what happens if vgs is 5 volt what happens is vgs is 6 volt what happens is VG, if vgs is 7 volt likewise what is the power dissipation of the mosfet if vgs is right 10 volt so so um, we will understand the benefit of benefits of vgs uh, for the mosfet uh, we will see if lower vgs is good for mosfet we will see if higher vgs is good for mosfet if i say vgs that means the gate to source the gate to source voltage of the mosfet so maybe in this circuit you can use you can use a small value you can use a small value resistance here let's say you can use here 10 ohm right so i will connect here 10 ohm so this would be 10 ohm right let me save this and you may also use one pull down resistance here that could be a 100 kilo ohm right so this is 100 k so so let me show you the data sheet of data sheet of aon6560 so you can see this is the data sheet of aon6560 here you can see you are having videos of 30 volt maximum id ID at VGS equals to 10 volt is 200 ampere. IDS on at VGS 10 volt is 0.68 milliohm. IDS on at VGS 4.4 4.5 volt is 1.1 milliohm. So you can see if your VGS is higher, your IDS on is lower, and if your VGS is lower, your IDS on is higher. Here you can see 10 volt, then 0.68 milliohm, and 4.5 volt VGS, and RDS on is 1.1 milliohm. So this is so this MOSFET you can drive starting from 4.4.5 volt to 10 volt. So we will understand what is the power dissipation of the MOSFET if you drive your MOSFET with 4.5 volt and what is the power dissipation of the MOSFET if you drive your MOSFET at 10 volt okay is there any any power dissipation difference if you drive your MOSFET at 4.5 volt and if you drive your MOSFET at 10 volt right so let us let us go go in simulation and i will show you i will show you the the experiment result right for different different value of vgs uh, i will show you the experiment result okay so you have to you have to go at simulate and then you have to edit simulation command right let us say the stop time for this simulation is 100 millisecond so this is the 100 millisecond you have to run the 
here you can see you have to run the transient analysis right transient analysis so it has appeared somewhere else this is the tra dot tran and 100 millisecond right 100 millisecond so you can see here here you can see you you are having 12 volt drain power supply and that is 24 ohm load is connected at the drain that means you are drawing 5 5 milliampere continuous current through your MOSFET so your your ID is fixed right your ID is fixed now okay your ID is 500 milliampere now we will see the power dissipation for different different value of VGS so let me run the simulation you can click this button directly right so but window trial window vertically and zoom it for proper visibility so hope this is visible now so you can see here you have this is your input here you have 4.5 volt let me divide into two parts so this is your input and here you have 4.5 volt now to check the power to check the power in lt spice you have to first press control plus alter control plus alter I pressed here and you can see this symbol appears and which component you want to measure the power you can go and just simply click it here so I want to measure the power for this MOSFET okay so let me click it here so this is the power dissipation for let me click it here and okay this is the power this first i will click it here and i will show you the vgs value so this is vgs now i will click it here and i will show you the power dissipation of the mosfet so so this we can see in one window right so let me close this pane and you can see okay so you can see here this is the VGS 4.5 volt and at VGS 4.5 volt you can see your power dissipation is 433.7 micro so now I will change this value this value is 4.5 volt I keep this value 7 volt this time I will run the simulation again here and you can see here if I change the VGS is 7 volt the power of the power dissipation of this MOSFET has fallen down earlier it was 433 at 4.5 volt now it is 200 around 211 at 7 volt now let me change for 8 volt VGS so you can see for 8 volt VGS your power dissipation is around 177 micro micro watt let me change it for for 10 volt right so your vgs is now 10 volt let me run the simulation again and you can see here your vgs is 10 volt but your power dissipation of the mosfet is fallen down that is 137 137.5 microvolt at 10 volt so what you can see what you can see by simulation in LT spice that if your VGS is lower that means if your VGS is 4.5 volt your power dissipation is higher that is 433.7 microvolt and if your VGS is higher that is 10 volt your power dissipation of the MOSFET was fallen down and it was around 1 let me show you again it was around how much it was around 137 microvolt so if you if you increase the the value of the value of vgs your power dissipation across the mosfet will decrease right right how this happen if you increase the value of vgs your ideas on RDS on drain to source on resistance will decrease and if the drain to source on resistance will decrease your power dissipation which is equals to I square R will decrease right 
so hope you understand the concept for mosfet power dissipation by using lt spice hope you have now some practical exposure practical perception how how the power dissipation of the mosfet can be reduced by increasing the gate to source resistance okay if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section at the end i will i will upload this file in in a google drive and i will share the link in description section you may download it and you can do your own practice right so thanks for watching this video